Hello, my name is Cal Molinet from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm an anarchist. I'm Matt Badalioli from Richmond, Virginia. I'm an anarchist. And today we're here at the Hobby Lobby location in Glenside um, in Richmond, Virginia, of course, on Broad Street. So we're here pretty much to try to talk to some of the consumers, to some, talk to some of the uh, local passerbys about their thoughts on the local Supreme Court decision siding with Hobby Lobby. And many of us have had quite, a, I guess, an interesting, uh, I guess, arguments online. Many of us have, of course, on Facebook uh, with the, the public outlash, uh, the cries against this, against uh, thinking that they are against contraceptives, but they're not. They provide how many? 16. 16 out of the 20, right? So the other four goes against their values, goes against, I guess, their, their religious beliefs, whatever that may be, but they're not telling you that you can't buy contraceptives, right? No. Uh, they're not telling you that uh, you know, it's because of us you can't have it at all. In fact, they pay at least, what, double the amount of minimum wage? More than that. More than that? $2 an hour, yeah. Right. To their full-time employees, yeah. And uh, so, so that's stuff that you don't really hear out as much in, in the mainstream media out there. So you know, they, they double the amount of government mandated minimum wage. And so with, with that in mind, you know, you look at the, th these are areas of concerns of the effect instead of looking at the cause of why maybe contraception is difficult to FDA. have. Uh, yeah, the FDA, for example, uh, having a lot of this being available over the counter, for example, uh, birth control pills. Um, you know, Plan B just finally got uh, permissible just last year. So it wasn't that long ago. Uh, many of the other tax firms in the other country uh, and, and the rest of the world have already been doing this for, for decades, for quite some time now. Um, so, you know, let's look at that. Let's look at the cause for why maybe it's difficult to get contraceptives, but it's not Hobby Lobby's fault. Right. They have nothing to do with that. You know, I don't, I, even in your own home, I don't think it'd be uh, kind of wrong and we can agree for anyone to force you to accept a particular rule or force you to, to pay for, for a product, right? Yeah, like yeah. you had a good analogy with the car and uh, parents. Yeah, I mean, if your parents aren't going to buy you a car, it doesn't mean you can't have a car. It just means you got to get a car yourself. Yeah, they're uh, not saying you're not they're allowed. They're to not against out. cars or uh, or uh, blocking your access to a car. Um, any more in this business is blocking any employees' access to birth control. Exactly. In fact, again, fifteen dollars. That's quite a. That's that's quite comparatively a for yeah. for what the the kind of work it is. Yeah. You know, and they have Sundays off. Right, hard to beat that. <laughs> and so, and all of this is voluntary. All of this is consensual. There is no employee here being forced at gunpoint. Uh, you know, aside from what Obamacare is doing, uh, to, to to be employed to here. The business, same same yeah. thing with the consumers here. You know, it's all voluntary. People are coming in here freely and going. Um, you know, there's no extortion fine behind any of this. So, so the only people being forced to do anything are the business owners themselves, not the employees. Right. Yeah. And that, that's that's where the, the real violence, that's where statism is, is lurking behind these, uh, unfortunately, behind these doors. Uh, the the gun pointed from Obamacare, pointed from the politicians, pointed from Obama himself. Uh, mandates, uh, these are nothing but uh, what opinions backed by gun. So with that, hopefully you enjoy this segment. We're going to go in and talk to some more uh, consumers here and some, uh, and hopefully spread the message of freedom. So with that, this is Cal Molone. Matt Balioli. So you guys at the Victor Party. My name is Cal Molone, and I just want to, Matt Balioli, and just want to ask, I guess, what your thoughts or an opinion to the uh, recent Sup Supreme Court ruling siding with Hobby Lobby uh, in the matters of like not them not being, being forced to pay for those uh, four contraceptives out of the 20. I think it was the right decision, absolutely. Right, and so do you feel like even like if you were the owner of your own business, you should have a say, right, um, and what you should be, you know, you would allow that such coverage for your employees, right? Absolutely, right. absolutely. Government is getting too involved. All we're, uh, we're just basically bringing it down to property and saying if they own the business and they make decisions for the business, like you make decisions for the own, your own home. Um, so a person who might be not, might be pro, pro choice or non religious or whatever, um, as I consider myself even, um, would still find, you know, um, legitimacy in that decision for just property purposes. Yeah, and, so, and of course, in the news, they don't really cover that. They're also covering 16 out of the 20 contraceptives, mm -hmm. uh, and they're not saying you can't have them. You know, there's there's a lot of other areas that you can get contraceptives. Unfortunately, this FDA that kind of makes these things costly. Uh, you know, not making it over the counter, for example. Uh, so. I, I, you would say then, you know, that uh, if you had your own store and your own business, though, you know, th this is the rules, this is the plan that I, I, I afford, you know, uh, if you don't like it, that's fine, you know, compete otherwise or, uh, you know, look for another place of business, right? Um, so I, I would find it also to be kind of unfair then to kind of force you to pay for something that, you know, doesn't go, go along with your values. Absolutely. Right. You know, when we shop for a job, we're, right. we're looking for a type of business that fits our character, right? Right. We have the same freedom to also shop for the employee that is going to meet our needs, insurance-wise, pay-wise, um, location-wise. Yeah. I mean, it's right. labor's a product. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well and so, and, and interesting, though, enough, like we were discussing earlier, that 
they the over the news kind of overlooks the fact that they pay, they pay them pretty well $15 mm -hmm. an hour for full-time employees part times over $9 so like there's plenty enough to kind of also buy contraceptives they're not saying you can't right, uh, right. So we don't want to be forced to provide so it on the our ones that aren't being covered only cost $50 like over the counter as they've been approved about a year or two ago yeah uh, so no, nothing insurmountable at all and uh, we would say the argument that they're not they're blocking access to contraceptives is completely ridiculous because well I mean just because you don't pay for something out of your own pocket doesn't mean you're blocking someone's access to get it yeah yeah it's like um, like like a child asking a parent you know like you keep buying me that toy it's like well I don't want to buy you so I'm not saying you can't get it you know maybe do some allowance do some work and you can accumulate you can buy it but I'm not saying that you can never have it I just don't want to I just don't want to buy it right I guess same thing with with any other product or service so well, then that's it. So we, we kind of side with Hobby Lobby ourselves in this decision. Yeah. So thank you so much for uh, having a talk with us. Absolutely. Good luck with y'all. Thank you. Perfect. All right. So how do, how do you feel about the recent uh, Supreme Court decision that side of Hobby Lobby saying that they shouldn't be forced uh, to pay for, uh, I guess, a product, right? And that's what they are, uh, these four contraceptives. Right. Uh, that goes against their own values. Right. I'm, I'm completely in, in agreement with it. Uh, completely understand. Uh, I support Hobby Lobby. 100%. Right, and, and they're also providing contraceptives, 16 out of the 20, right. so they're not saying you can't have any, exactly. right? Exactly. Th these particular ones, this goes against their own religious values. Right. Uh, so it's not as if they're saying you can't get it at all, right? You know, there's over-the-counter drugs, there's, you know, FDA restricts a lot of that, so maybe that's the problem. But, and so far, they're not doing anything with, uh, I guess, forcing or, or taking away from anyone there. In fact, right. they actually provide uh, double the minimum wage for full-time employees, like $15, right? $15 an hour, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so it's like... Yeah, I didn't realize that, but yeah, wow. Right, yeah, that's stuff so that... So we like don't the, hear about that, because yeah, people just kind of yeah. want to focus on this one, you know, politically unpopular thing. Yeah, right? you always hearing the bad and not the good. Right. But if you even want to call that bad, it's just right. a decision. I don't know. Right. Right. And, and no one's no one's forcing employees to work here. Right. Right. Exactly. So yeah. every uh, every contract is voluntary and signed by the employee, giving consent to the rules they've agreed to. Yeah. yeah. Like if I go into your room and you had like a no shoes allowed, uh, or, or I guess ruin in your house. It's like okay, I understand that, but uh, I could also say, well, I don't want to go to your house, right? But you're not forcing me. That's just a rule that, that you kind of have established, right? Uh, right. right, so it's consensual, it's voluntary. Right. Right, and, and that regard. going in, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah. Uh, we'd say labor is a commodity as well, so uh, you know, you could shop for labor. Um, and that's beat your preferences based on your employer, based on the, the kind of uh, worker they're looking for, or the kind of business you're looking to work for. Um, so if uh, one of them isn't really fitting, then you have to, we would say, take it upon yourself to break the contract you've consented to and then consent to a different one. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Uh, fully agree. All right, cool. Well, awesome. thank you so much for talking yes, with us. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day. You, you too, too, man. All right, so in the recent Supreme Court decision, they sided with Hobby Lobby saying that they don't have to be forced to pay for the four out of the 20 uh, contraceptives. Okay. Once that under Obamacare, they force all these companies to pay for these uh, number of uh, contraceptives. Mm -hmm. But out of uh, the 16 out of the 20, Hobby Lobby does provide. But the four that uh, induces abortion mm -hmm. goes against the religious values. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't want to be forced to pay for that. Mm -hmm. uh, but so there, so there are providing contraceptives, 16 out of 20. Mm -hmm. uh, but out of the four, it goes, since it goes against their values and this is their place of business, um, you know, it doesn't kind of drive well. You know, for example, mm -hmm. someone forcing you to pay for something you didn't want, right? Right. Uh, so, but there's a lot of negative uh, outlash, outlash against that, uh, saying that as if like they're against contraceptives, but uh, but so it's the case that, that they're not, right? They're, they mm -hmm. are providing that. Like plant, plan, plan, who Yeah, yeah, right, absolutely, right. yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, so it's not like they're against that. There's this other force that goes against their religion, mm -hmm. their values, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you had a business yourself mm -hmm. and you had your list of values, like well, how, how would you feel if, uh, you know, a government told you, uh, what to, I can and cannot do. Right. Yeah, what yeah. I what can sell, to, yeah. or, or they're making me right? sell. Like, what's some of the contraceptives that they sell here at Home Goods? I have no idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know. 16 out of 20 seems like a lot of variety. Yeah, cuts, so right? that's what I'm kind of like, okay, right. what do they sell? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I can only well, list like maybe two or three off the top well, of my head. It's not right? so much what they're selling and just like have to buy them for their employees. Right. And uh, to prevent so, them from what? Having well, no, sex it's, it, it, there's, right? well, there's yeah. no having kids. There's no rhyme or reason to it. It's just like a thing, like right. And just because the government makes a lot of money makes some sense. Yeah, yeah it, it's kind of like wow. They made the court for this. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, we. I, I was saying to many people that it's a little ridiculous since we could even get to the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of a really bad reflection on our own legal system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something like this would ever even get that far? It's going to take that that seriously. I mean, you're wasting taxpayers' money and all of that type of stuff. Well, we're used I mean, to that by now, aren't we? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, but I'm kind of like, wow. 
Um, you'll, you'll see uh, people, protesters hold, holding signs saying my birth control is not my boss's business to actually protest the fact that their boss is not paying for their birth control. I mean, what does the boss have to do with it anyway? It does, well, right? he, exactly. I mean, so I mean, we are in the land of the free, right? Uh, that's, 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 that's the, the claim, right? right? Yeah, that's <laughs> say, uh, yeah. mm. Free to do is uh, whatever government tells you what yeah, you can and cannot whatever do. Whatever your neighbors want to do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. So the boss is involved in people's personal lives. Right? Right, right? Yeah. So they say, we don't want the bosses to be involved in our decision making. So, well, don't force your boss to be involved in paying for your... You know, the contraceptives are like a sexual fun activity, right? It's right. not a crucial thing. It's basically, to each his own. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Right. Yeah. I mean, I can get it relatively quick. Right. <laughs> You've been recording because yeah, yeah, yeah. Dot, yeah, so everything's recording. Recording. yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's recorded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm into filming and all this stuff. Too. <laughs> but you're gonna do the editing and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that's cool. But yeah. I mean, to each his own, and I mean, it is what it is. I mean, if somebody have their own personal beliefs, then okay, they have their own personal beliefs, and you know, you can have your beliefs. I mean, because, you know, basically when you're dealing with families and stuff like that, because you see sometimes that families, they're going to hell in the handbasket mm -hmm. because they don't have core values, you know, but still you can't jab it, jam it down somebody's throat, you know, because this is what I believe, these are my values. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to get into, okay, you want to discover things for yourself and get a better understanding, then start doing your own research, do your own due diligence. But as far as telling somebody, no, you're going to force this thing in your throat or not. Right? Right, right. No, I, yeah, don't, it, I don't think you need to force anything down anybody's throat. Right. You know, you do what you have to do, you keep on going. Oh, yeah. Like the Second Amendment. Right. I mean, yeah. the right to bear arms, whatever the case may be, you have to protect pros yourself. And cons. Correct. Freedom to protect yourself. Right. Yeah, the freedom to protect yourself. So, I mean, I don't know. If, it is what it is. If, if the employees, for example, or the didn't like this particular policy, you know, mm -hmm. then you can compete. You know, create your own anti Hobby Lobby business. Nobody's across forced and, to work here. And I do that, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And they're not firing anybody because of this. All that. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Absolutely. So if they're not laying people off and firing people, then I mean, you choose to work. We in the state of Virginia too, right? So. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You make a mistake and say, ooh. Hello, but we don't like to say hello, they can fire. Right. So it's it is what it is. That's what it is. And at least the rules here when people come in here and work here or you yourself, no one's forcing you to come here. So I'll right. shop it's somewhere else or Ben Franklin's Yeah, schools, yeah, all yeah, about the places to shop and yeah, other places to work too. Other places to work. Uh, yeah. uh, so this is a privately owned business, there's like you own your house and make the rules for your house. Mm -hmm. uh, they make the rules for this business. Right. Uh, so we really won't acknowledge much of a difference there at all. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean that's the way it is. If you like everywhere you go, you're gonna have some type of um, some rules, some guidance. I mean, you have a book that's gonna tell you, hey, these are the core values of the company or whatever. Dressing, mm -hmm. what's what's the word? My mind is kind of blank at the moment. What is it? They give you um, like pink the, slip. not the pink <laughs> slip. They, they give you that too. Yeah, you know, later, <laughs> yeah. But they give you um, the basic rules yeah, the handbook to, to, to a bye bye. Yeah. You right. know, these are the core business rules. And stuff. Either you abide by them or you don't. If right. you're going to abide by them, cool. If you're not, then why come here? You know? right. Right. So, I mean, where I work, uh, I'm required, I actually just got off work, I'm required we're all black. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, if I don't like it, well, that's not my You know, right. I, I agreed to that before I started working there. You know? Hey, right. Once um, you sign the papers and you agree to it, then hey. Absolutely. But if not, then there's the. Right. And I can yeah. just walk next door and try to get a job there. Like businesses that say, like, uh, you know, Come in not wearing flip flops or whatnot, right? right. Or, or, or no shirts, no shirts. No shirts. Yeah, yeah. And so they're like, doing that maybe for the protection of the employees yeah. as well. You come in with flip flops, but you're operating heavy machinery or lifting the boxes, yeah. and things like that. Then you get hurt. Then guess what? You're gonna sue the business. Right. So they gotta, yeah. so they gotta protect themselves as well. So it's a, yeah, it's it's give and take, you know. So hey, we all gonna die, you know. Yeah. So <laughs> we just live and enjoy life and love each other, and that's it. Okay. So, Thank you so much. Thanks, right. No problem. Take good care. Uh -huh.